350 missiles and drones with 60 tons of explosives into Israel, Iran revealed what weapons used. Iranian media reported what range of weapons were used in the attack on Israel. At the same time, the Iranian military did not disclose this data, but the country's government publications claim that they used drones, kamikaze, and several types of ballistic and cruise missiles. In particular, the Iranian army used several hundred Shahed 136 kamikaze drones capable of flying about 2,000 kilometers at a speed of 185 kilometers an hour and carrying a 50 kilogram warhead and IMAD ballistic missiles presented by Tehran in 2015, the range of which reaches 1,700 kilometers. These missiles are the largest Iranian missiles of their class. Also, according to the Iranian press, during the recent attack, more than 30 Pave cruise missiles presented in February 2023 with a range of about 1,650 kilometers and a number of other missiles, the type and specifics of which were not specified, were used. Moreover, the shortest route from Iran to Israel via Iraq, Syria and Jordan does not exceed 1,000 kilometers. Iran launched approximately 350 rockets and drones carrying 60 tons of explosives into Israel in a mass attack on April the 13th, Israeli Defense Forces representative Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said. The attack could have caused enormous damage, he said. However, only a few Iranian missiles penetrated Israel's territory, causing minor damage to Israel's Nevatim Air Force Base. Israel managed to repel Iran's missile and drone attack only with the help of the United States and Tel Aviv's other Western and Arab partners. Some of the air targets were shot down outside Israel. American, British and Jordanian fighters played a key role in this aviation. Western media note that against the backdrop of the Iranian attack, doubts arise about the ability of Israel and its allies to repel the attack in conditions of total war. The Iranian attack on Israel is similar to those that Russia has repeatedly launched against Ukraine, the Institute for the Study of War said, noting that Iran was likely determining the best way to break through Western-style air and missile defenses. A private helicopter crashed in the southern neighborhood of Coyoacan in Mexico City, killing the pilot and two passengers on board, local newspaper La Razón reported, Pablo Vázquez, head of the Secretariat of Citizen Security of Mexico City, said on social media that people in the neighborhood were not at risk after the crash. We can confirm that three people lost their lives, the pilot of the plane and two passengers, the local official said in a statement. We are crossing information to determine the identity of the three people, he added, emergency services are still investigating the accident, which was brought under control almost immediately, Vasquez said, although the identities of the victims are not known, reports of Forum TV indicate that the pilot would be a man of approximately 65 years old, presumably identified as Armando Cervantes, who had a valid flight license. Marty Batras, head of government of Mexico City, announced that the crash of an aircraft at the intersection of Delfin Madrigal and Avenida Delimon was reported to him. He did not offer further details regarding this emergency, preliminary reports indicated that the vehicle involved in the accident would be a red condor, however, the Secretary of Security denied the above, the aircraft that collapsed does not belong to the condors group, it is a private vehicle. <laughs> No, así se veía como iba cayendo el güey. No la van a hacer, eh. No, güey, no la van a hacer, No, 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 veras, güey. No, el camión, güey. No, el camión mejor si pueden, pero. Sí, no mames. Voy a traer gas, güey, y vaya. Pero quién está mal? No, pues quien está ya se Sí, güey. No, sí, ya mamá. No, no, güey, ya te pa' acá, güey. Te pa' acá, señor.
No, se, se mataron. ¿Qué? Sí, güey, no mames. No, si se veía cómo iba cayendo el güey. No la van a hacer, ¿eh? ¿Tú sabes que estoy, mamá?